Hello lovely people, welcome back to my channel, my name is Emma, this is Frog Detective, and we are back with Frog Detective 2, the case of the Invisible Wizard, yep. New game please. This was set up at the end of the first game, so we're excited and ready to go, aren't we? He's excited. Here's our dance party that we had. My office could do with a bit more decor, couldn't it? Phone's ringing. Frog Detective Crime Solving Agency, Frog Detective speaking. Hi Detective. Hi Supervisor. Why'd you hang up on me, huh? We were talking just a moment ago about a new case. The one at Warlock Woods, right? Yeah. I hung up because I got too excited about solving another mystery. That's understandable. What can you tell me about this new case? It's a doozy detective. Hold on to your hat. Supervisor, you know I can't wear hats. Sorry. Anyway. Warlock Woods is a fairly small town up north. They don't get very many they don't get many visitors around there. A couple of days ago a new resident moved in. A shy kind of gal doesn't like to be the centre of attention. Anyway, she settles into the new house and doesn't go outside to greet anyone. The residents of the town feel like they need to welcome her properly, so they organise a welcome a welcoming parade. Great idea. Absolutely. Someone in the town seemed to think otherwise. Last night the parade decorations were destroyed. What? So rude. Nobody has any leads, they dunno who done it. That's where you come in, detective. That's me. I'm the detective. I am aware. Warlock Woods is a magic town, so it's not the easiest place to get to. You'll need to take an enchanted cart to the end of the line, then travel the rest of the way on foot. Too easy. You'll need to question everybody to get to the bottom of things. Do you think you can solve the mystery? Hmm. Yep. Great. Hop to it. Haha. <laughs> oh, I forgot to mention. The new resident of the woods is... special. She's... Invisible! Ah, that was loud. And a wizard! An invisible wizard. Cool! Uh, what's the relevance of her being invisible? Nobody knows what she looks like, so they're really excited to find out. Hence the parade and the decorations and the celebrations. They want her to be uninvisible. De-invisibled! Uh, visible! Exactly. Anyway, do you have everything you need? Um, I have my shoes, my jumper, my pants. I think I'm missing something. Your magnifying glass! Of course! It's on the table next to the door. Once you pick it up, you'll be ready to solve the mystery. Thanks, Supervisor. Good luck, Detective. Our Supervisor's a nice guy. Magnifying glass. My trusty magnifying glass. Can't solve mysteries without it. Sorry, Frog Detective, I've made you unsteady. Well, maybe I could, but I wouldn't want to. Got magnifying glass. Yeah. I mean, in the first game it didn't really come into play, but it's fun to use, you know? Ooh! Hey look, that's me! <gasps> Lobster cop! <laughs> He's so cool, he has his own theme music. Look at him go! Wow. <laughs> ah, it's the famous frog detective. Famous? I'm not famous. <laughs> Perhaps not, but I'm sure you will be soon. Wow, I hope so. What brings you to my office, detective? Um, well I was just leaving my office actually. I work next door, right here. Oh, I thought that was a cupboard. Nope, that's my office. I've been putting all my cleaning supplies in there. Yes, I've noticed. I'm in there working every time you do it. I even say, this is my office. And then you say, sure is, little cleaning frog. And then I say, I am a crime-solving frog, not a cleaning frog. But usually you're gone already. Excuse my ignorance, detective. I wasn't trying to offend. I'm a very busy boy, head full of mysteries. Sometimes I forget to be polite. If I was polite all the time, I'd never have time to solve my crimes. I understand. Frog detective proves you wrong, Lobster Cop, actually. Maybe that's why I'm not as talented as you, Lobster Cop. Perhaps. But detective, you must keep trying. Never give up. Look at all these trophies. I can give you some tips if you'd like. Wow, yes please. Pay attention. You should make sure you're looking at things. Paying attention to words. Quite right. Everyone is a suspect. Even you! I will suspect myself much more from now on. Good call. Carry a notebook. 
Well, I'm not really big on books. They are, without exception, factually incorrect. Detective, don't be foolish. A book you write yourself cannot be factually inaccurate if you are writing facts. I suppose you're right. I don't have a notebook, though. Well, it's your lucky day! I have a spare notebook on my desk. You can decorate it and use it all you like. Wow, really? Yep, there are stickers you can use, too. I bought them with all my crime-solving money. If I was a hotshot detective, I too would spend my money on stickers. I'll let you get to it, detective. Head into my office when you're ready to decorate. Okay, thanks, lobster cop. I can't believe he called me a, a cleaning frog. <laughs> this is a beautiful picture. Okay, on with the circle of banana peels. It's a pool party, he's still in full uniform. <laughs> That's a picture of him with a ghost. Hey, frogs! Wow. Yeah. Hmm, which stickers should I pick? And where should they go? <sighs> okay. Oh my gosh, these are like the little guys that we saw on the on the beach. Our little robot. Okay, we need a magnifying glass. Okay, there's a thing I can rotate. Okay, cool. Um, well I need the, the little things like we found on the at the scene of the last crime, because that's obviously relevant. Little spider, little happy spider. Can I put a spider under the magnifying... Oh no, because you can't see it. I put it on the magnifying glass and then it's kind of like we're looking at it through the glass. Perfect. That car's got a smiley face. Um, oh. That's me? What's that? Is that an eye? Is it frog spawn? I can put myself in a fabulous hat. Actually, I'm going to keep myself au natural because frog detective can't wear hats. I don't want to upset him. We'll put this crocodile in a hat. Got this blobby person over here. Looks a little bit like thin Mr. Blobby. Nervous heart. Happy little robot. Got to have it. In fact, I should have a couple of those, yeah. They're doing the robot. Perfect. I'm done. Oh, amazing book. Thank you very much. What do you think? Pretty good, eh? Got a notebook! I like that he had all his stickers laid out ready for me. Open your notebook with tab. My things, magnifier, notebook. Invisible wizard. Okay, cool. Hey, lobster cop. Thank you for the notebook. How's your book decorating coming along? I know, just taking my time is all. Just kidding, I do have all day. Oh, well, I'm done, so I'm gonna leave. Bye, Lobster Cop, thank you for the notebook. Oh, I didn't know you could use the magnifying glass for shift. Now I know. It's me. What a lovely photo. There's Lobster Cop. And there's the supervisor. The whole gang. Time to solve another mystery. We're doing it, buddy, we're solving another mystery. Oh yeah, we've gotta take the cart to the end of the line. The haunted cart? Was it haunted or magic? I think it was magic, actually. Take the magic cart to the end of the line. Oh, the music's so spooky. We made it. The music's amazing. Starring the detective, Susan, Ralph, Mandy, Mary, and several more characters. <laughs> I like the dog in a sweater. Frog Detective 2, Case of the Invisible Wizard. By Grace Bruxner and Thomas Bowker. Good job, guys. You're amazing. I love you. Not in a weird way, in a I admire you as game developers sort of way. Just different kind of love. We're here. Log Woods. Wow, it really does look magical. Oh, man. Yeah. It has been a bit trash, doesn't it? Damn. 
Oh no, the welcome signs are wonky as what wonkers. Wonkers McChonkers. There's Doritos on the floor. Hello. Susan. It's you. It's me. The famous lobster cop. I really thought you'd be a lobster. Uh no, I'm a frog. Yeah. Why is your name Lobster Cop? I have to tell you something. I am not Lobster Cop. I don't know how to answer that. Who are you? I'm the detective. Uh, frog detective. I see. Was Lobster Cop not available? Unfortunately not. Well, I think you'll do just fine. Thanks! Oh, I'm Susan. Hi, Susan! I'm the one that contacted the agency, which I think you'll find excludes me from being a suspect. Oh! I didn't know that was how it worked. You should know these things, detective. I'm sorry. I think you should still question me, though. To remove all doubt. Okay. Alright, about the wizard. Do you know the wizard personally? Nobody knows her personally. Not here, at least. Not me. Right. I had a lot to do with the organisation of the parade. And I was the one to start the investigation. It's worth bringing up again. So you were fine with her moving to the town? Absolutely. That old house has been empty for years and it's really nice someone wants to live there. It needs a lot of fixing up, but it'll look nice soon, I think. Plus, it's always exciting to have a new neighbour. Sure is! I put up a sign I made for the wizard, but it got knocked down last night. I'm feeling pretty sad about it, if I'm honest. I know you're here to solve the mystery, but I just need to tell someone how I feel. Aww. You can talk to me about it. I'm not a professional sign maker yet, but I worked really hard on this sign. Really, I struggle to understand why someone would knock it down. It feels so heartless, and now I'm not sure who to trust. Aww. It's a tricky situation for sure. Some people are protective of their communities, and think new people are going to change things for the worse. But that's almost never the case. New people make things better because they bring new perspectives, especially in small communities. Hopefully it's just a misunderstanding or a mistake. I like to believe people are good. That being said, I'm treating everyone as a suspect. Even you. Especially you. Oh, no. Sorry, not sure why I said that. <laughs> but you're not off the hook just yet. That's it. Detective, could you please find me a hook? I could hang the sign back up with it. Oh, okay. I'll do my best. <laughs> Bless her. What did you need? Oh, a hook. I don't know why I... I don't know why I asked that again. Uh, about last night is what I meant to say. Where were you on the night in question? I was at home knitting a jumper for the wizard. Really? Yeah, I picked all the colours myself and everything. Though I'll admit it's a bit hard to focus on knitting. Why's that? I get so distracted by the wool, it's so fun to play with. I play with it so much that I unravel the whole thing and it goes everywhere. It's a big nuisance. I understand. But I was concentrating on the knitting so much that I didn't notice the distraction of the parade. Did you notice anything at all? Hmm. Now that I think of it, I saw a big van out near the entrance to Warlock Woods. It didn't drive in or I would have heard it. I didn't worry about it at the time, of course. That's all I remember, sorry. No worries. Alright, I'll come back to you with a hook, Susan. Nice shoes, by the way. Oh, yeah, our first profile. Susan. Motive. Maybe she didn't like her sign. Destroyed the parade out of embarrassment. Needs something to fix her sign. Insists she is not suspicious. This makes her more suspicious than she realises. Upset about the parade being destroyed, worked really hard on her sign, saw a van near the entrance last night. Right, thanks Susan, you've been really helpful. Hello? What's this? I'm not sure why this pie is here, but it seems out of place, I'll hold on to it for now. Got a pie! Wow, we're already off to an amazing start. One lost pie. A bit flory, but that's okay. Uh, anyway, hey! Nice hat. Noddy. What? Huh? Who are you? The detective. Oh! I thought Lobster Cop was coming. Huh? What? Did you say something about Lobster Cop? No. But I heard... Can this frog read my mind? Why are you speaking like that? Like what? Like this. Whoa! Is this what telepathy is? Can you hear this frog? You're saying everything out loud. Wow, this frog has a temper. Anyway, who are you? I'm Noddy. Okay. I'm the mayor of Warlock Woods, right. Okay. Was it you that asked for me to come? No. I would have asked for Lobster Cop. I really need to emphasise that I can hear you. 
Stop listening. Okay. Can I ask you some questions about the case? Uh, about last night. What can you tell me about last night? Nothing. Oh. But I can tell you about the wizard. I know basically everything there is to know about her. That's great. Best of all, she's a wizard. Uh-huh. She's invisible, yep. Yeah. Great. And she just moved in. I think you might have mentioned that one already, yeah. Okay. Sorry. Anyway. About the wizard? I feel like we've just learned everything she knows about the wizard. How do you feel about the wizard coming to live here? Well, I'm happy she's here, but that house has been empty for ages. And I didn't know she was coming, right? Nobody told me, you see. Aren't you the mayor? I think so. Anyway, <laughs> she kind of came at a weird time of night, and I, well, I thought that she was a ghost. This little insect in the background just trundling along. Oh, yeah, it was a bit messy. Oh? I tried to vacuum her up. With a vacuum. I put it on the highest setting. Just really went to town with a vacuum. I think I really freaked her out. And now she won't come out of the house. Oh no. Um, please don't put me in jail. You're not going to jail. Jail isn't real. <laughs> but you should probably apologize. Sorry, detective. I mean to the wizard. Right, yeah. That's why I was helping with the parade. To apologize. But she hasn't been out of her house. Also, the parade is ruined. I see. This makes me sound really bad. I swear I wanted the parade to be lovely. As the mayor of the town, I booked a live band to play a song. As you can see, the stage is gross and ruined now. The band's on their way and I have no time to fix it. Oh no, they're a very famous band. <gasps> if only I had a rug or something to use, I could cover up the mess. The town is in disarray and I don't have time to track one down. Oh no! If you happen to find anything that would work, please let me know. Will do. Hmm... I think that's it for now. Thank you, Noddy. The possibly mayor. The, I assume, mayor until somebody says otherwise. Motive. Tried to vacuum up the wizard. Maybe there's some history there. Needs a rug. Notes. Thinks I can read minds. I can't. The mayor? Hired a cool band to play. Attack the wizard. Pretty suspicious start, although she did admit to it straight away, so that's... That's a good sign, right? It's so upsetting having so many Doritos on the floor. I really want Doritos now as well. Look at this lamp. That's so... That's devastating. Hello. Hello, little frog. I'm Ralph. Why are you yelling? I'm just making sure you can hear me. I can hear you. You don't have to yell. You're very small. Might be difficult for you to hear. I'm small, but I'm also very close to you. Being small isn't the same as being far away. Are you sure? You can hear me at this volume? Yes. Weird. I'm the detective. I'm here to solve the mystery. Yes. But you're so small. <laughs> I'm of average frog height. Hmm. Can I ask you some questions about the case? Questioning me, huh? About the wizard. How do you feel about the wizard moving in? It's nothing against the wizard, but... I've been living with my friend Carlos for a while now, and our space is big. But I would really like my own home. Oh! I've been eyeing off that old house for ages. I thought maybe I'd move in one day, but the wizard got there first. I see. It's my fault, I guess. I shouldn't hold it against the wizard. This house is twice as big as all the other houses. Maybe you could renovate it and turn it into two houses. You could split it down the middle. Or have one house upstairs and one house downstairs. Like an apartment. It's a pretty cool idea. I like Carlos and everything, but I'm a private boy. I understand. I'm also a private boy. I don't have any renovation supplies, though. Hmm. I'll see if I can track some down for you. What am I, what, how am I going to find stuff to renovate Ralph's house? I'm excited to see it. Um, about your eye. If it's not rude of me to ask. May I ask why you have an eye patch on? That's Ralph's business. Oh, it'd be really good for me to know why you have an eye patch. Sometimes a boy just wants to wear an eye patch. That shouldn't make me suspicious. You put it on for fashion? Kind of. Detective, I don't want to get into this too much. But I watched a movie last night about pirates, and I loved it. And there's another three left. Three whole movies. Can you believe it? Sequels? I've never heard of a movie having a sequel before. 
Yes, it's extremely normal to have a video game sequel, especially for games with large audiences like the Toad Investigation series. Yeah. Anyway, I was watching a pirate movie last night, that's where I was. And for that reason I have decided to wear an eye patch. Okay, I'll leave it at that. My thanks. Okay, I think that's all for now, Ralph. Thanks, buddy. You do look like a very fashionable pirate. Ralph. Motive. In true pirate fashion, wanted to cause a ruckus? Could be. Needs building supplies. Notes. Loves pirates. Eye patch is cosmetic only. A private boy. Wants to renovate. Thinks I am too small. I am not. What a mood. I appreciate you, Frog Detective. Huh. What a beautiful picture. <sighs> okay, I can't go in. Okie dokie. Oh, hello. This is, appears to be the origin of the pie. Careful where you stack, detective. There's mess everywhere. There sure is. I'm used to mess. My shoes are brand new. I can't get them dirty. Why don't you change shoes? Detective. Are you joking? I can't wear flats with this look. The proportions would be all wrong. Besides, these shoes are enchanted. Oh. I'm one of the few actual witches here in the Warlock Woods. Most folks here are just fans of the spooky. Which is fine and all, but it means a lot of the cleaning work will be mine to do. Oh, I never should have learned that tidying up spell. It shouldn't take too long for me to clean up this mess, but first I need to find all my pies. What happened to your pies? Someone thought it'd be funny to knock them all over. So annoying, I spent ages making them. Well, do you mind if I ask you some questions? About your pies. Do you need help finding your pies? Yes, detective, seriously. I seriously need help. Straight up, I can't see anything right now. These glasses are so dark, it's unreal. I'm such a dingus. This town is literally cloaked in eternal night. Why did I think sunglasses would be a good idea? However, I don't regret it. They make me look amazing. Do you think I look amazing? Yup. Thanks, I do too. Worst purchase I've ever made in terms of practicality, but it brings this look to a new level. I may be a dingus, but I'm a very stylish dingus. That is me. Mandy, I... I salute you. What were we talking about? My outfit. No, before that. Pies! Yes, I will help. I will help pick up the pies. Clean them up? Oh, she is a witch, though. She can probably magically clean them up, it's fine. Um, about last night. Where were you last night? Doing heaps of push-ups and getting ripped. Just kidding. I was on whizbay.net, where magic happens, TM. What were you doing? Bidding on some new shoes. But you just got these ones. Yeah, but the ones I was bidding on would go super well with this blue dress I have. Wow, cool. I know. I didn't win, though. Who got the shoes? Not sure. All I know is their screen name. Someone called DizzyWizzy109. Sorry to hear it. How did you feel when you lost? A bit defeated. I went for a midnight stroll to cool off, but then I saw someone in the distance. It was a pretty foggy night, so I couldn't see much, but they were carrying a large box. I couldn't see what they looked like, but they were definitely not from here. It felt like they were waiting for someone. Hmm. Did you hear any noise after that? No, my house is soundproof. Ever since Mary has taken up singing, it's kind of a necessity. I only saw the mess in the morning. Interesting. Hmm, well, I've found a pie. Mandy, detective, I have found some of your pies. Four left, I'll hop to it. Mandy. No pie now. We have no pie on us. Motive. Upset about not winning the shoes, perhaps? Took it out on the parade? Needs help finding her five pies. Notes. Last night was on Whizbay bidding for shoes. Someone knocked her pies over. Schooled me about fashion. Fair enough. Real witch. Spooky. Thanks, Mandy. Look at this little bug. Hi, buddy. That's a spider just like on my notebook. Okay, buddy, keep an eye out for pies. Oh, a pie. Oops. Oh. Hello. Don't mind me, I'm just get getting this pie. It's a lost pie. Yeah, it is. 
one pie. Now, about this deer in a hot tub. Uh, hello. <laughs> nice glasses. Victor. Hello. Wanna hop in? A little bit, but I'm on a case. I'm Victor. Who are you? The detective. Is that your real name? Maybe. Cool, cool. Are you here to question me and stuff? Because, like, I'm not suspicious. How do you know you're not suspicious? Well... I think I didn't do it. You think? Yeah. Nobody knows anything for certain these days. So why are you here swimming? Oh. She's the only person I know with a hot tub. Plus I heard there were going to be delicious pies for the parade so the timing was perfect. Where do you live normally? Over near Pumpkinville. Nice spot. I was thinking of taking a holiday there. Yeah. Um, so anyway, can I ask you some questions about the case? Victor is a strange lad. About the wizard. Did you know much about the invisible wizard before you came here? I knew the parade was for her, but beyond that I didn't know a lot. Annoying that they never threw a parade for me coming to visit. I'm super cool! Have you been here before? So many times. The first time they even threw me a parade! Okay. I take the parade thing back. <laughs> Just pretend I didn't say that. Sure. Detective, I'm really bored of this conversation. I'm sorry if that's rude, but I have a new policy of being honest with people. Were you dishonest before? Yeah, I guess. I wouldn't tell people when they were boring me. I don't think that counts as dishonesty. I'm not sure, but probably don't tell them. It would hurt their feelings. I didn't hurt your feelings though, did I? Well, I have to admit I was a bit hurt. I have a very exciting job. And I'm a frog. And I solve mysteries. I don't think I'm boring at all. Sure, but I've seen heaps of frogs before. Plus, I've solved my fair share of crimes. Which crimes? This one. You solved the crime already? Ralph did it. How do you know? Good point. I haven't decided that bit yet, but it seems likely that he did it. What was his motive? His what? The reason for destroying the parade. I think because he has an eye patch on. No, it's purely for fashion. I don't think that's a real motive. That doesn't make any sense. This conversation isn't going anywhere. Neither are you, apparently. <gasps> Not until I solve the mystery. I'm sorry for being rude, detective. I mean it. I just get so grumpy when I'm hungry. Why don't you eat something? Get out of the hot tub? No, I must continue to soak. You could ask someone to get you something to eat. There's nobody here. I am here. If you happen to find food, I'd love to have some. In the meantime, I would like to apologize for being so rude. Please take one money as an apology. Ah, oh, thank you. One money. Question. About last night. Where were you when the parade was destroyed? I've been swimming all day in Noddy's hot tub, so I was super wrinkly. And it was hard for me to get inside the house because of my wrinkly hooves. So I waited for half an hour for the wrinkles to de-wrinkle. And then I went inside to Noddy's house and snoozed on the couch all night. What time was that? All night. What time did you get back into Noddy's house? Before the parade was destroyed. It wasn't me. Probably wasn't me, I mean. Can't be sure. But 90% probability that it wasn't me. Hmm, Alright, well, I could give him a lost pie, but I don't really... I'm trying to collect them all for the, um... For the... Whoever it was that made the pies. The witch. Mandy. Oh, Victor's little face. Hadn't eaten. Could have been jealous of the parade. Needs something to eat. Perhaps only rude because of hunger. Doesn't live here, only visiting. I want to visit Pumpkinville. Me too, frog detective. Me too. What the fuck was that? Did you see that? I feel... Is that... Is that the invisible wizard? Hello, is anyone home? Sounds like somebody's inside, but I shouldn't intrude on them. I'll come back another time. Is that- I mean, can I just see the invisible wizard through the window? It looks like that's the invisible wizard right there. <laughs> it would be a really useful person to talk to. I- okay, well first of all, pie. Lost pie! Two lost pie. One money. 
There was somebody behind the... There was somebody behind this building, alright? Very weird. Okay, well... Let's talk to the zebra. Oh look, you can buy the little starfish, friends! A customer! Welcome to Carlos's All Things You Could Need shop. Are you Carlos? Amazing. How cool is that? The shop has my name in it. So cool! My company also has my name in it. Frog Detective Crime Solving Agency. What's your name? Crime? Oh, no. I'm the Frog Detective. That's not really a name, though. More of a title. Oh, I suppose you're right. Cool. I'm jealous. We're all our own biggest fans. Being conceited is a societal con construct. We have rejected it. Hence why my shop is so popular. I sell portraits. Wow, that's great. My office neighbour Lobster Cop has a picture of himself right above his desk. You know Lobster Cop? Yep. Holy heck, I've been a fan forever. You know we solved the mystery of the haunted island recently. I don't think it was actually me that solved it. It was all over TV, the dance competition had a lobster in it. Oh, you must be thinking of Larry. You mean small Larry? No, this was a regular sized lobster. Uh, no, Larry is a regular sized lobster. Oh well. Agree to disagree! I really did solve that mystery. It was me, the detective. Thanks. Yeah, I am the second best detective. Do you mind if I ask you some questions? The night in question. Where were you last night? Just here in my shop. What about when you closed up? My shop doesn't close. It's 24 hours. What if someone needs a portrait of themselves at 4am? What? <laughs> I sleep and eat and look after myself. My customers simply wake me up if they need to buy anything. Where do you sleep? I sleep standing up. Years of training. I am the most committed shopkeeper in all of Warlock Woods. Also the only shopkeeper in all of Warlock Woods. Do you ever take breaks? I really like it here in my shop. It's where I feel most at home. The extreme shopkeeper lifestyle isn't for everyone, but I take so much joy from my work. Me too. Although I must request that you look after yourself and close the shop if you need a break. Aww. Anyway, did you see anything last night? Why? Um, the crime. Hmm, I think I need to question you a bit more. <laughs> the wizard? What do you know about the new wizard that just moved in? Who? The invisible wizard that moved in literally next door. Someone moved in? Yeah. Place has been empty for ages. I gotta say hi. Well, the parade was meant to be for saying hi. Parade? Carlos? Carlos is so out of touch with the Warlock Woods. The parade that everyone's been prepping for. Wow, how nice, can't wait. It was destroyed last night. What? This conversation is a roller coaster of information. I have literally no idea what's happening. You weren't involved in the decoration at all? Wait, who's the parade for again? Is it for me? No, it's for the invisible wizard. She just moved in next door. Uh, oh dear. The party hats. Every time we throw a parade, everyone has party hats to wear. Mine was ruined at the last parade. I've been too busy working in my shop to buy a new one. Oh no, how embarrassing. Can't shop without one. It'll be tight. Uh, what should I do? Don't stress, I'll track one down for you before the parade starts. In the meantime, I'll figure out a way to repay you. Unfortunately, I don't have any frog portraits just yet. Not a problem. What would you like to know? Um, that's all for now, thanks. Man, Carlos is so dedicated to the shopkeeper lifestyle that he has no idea what's going on in town. It's a zero idea. Have you seen the... The, <laughs> the grasshopper's back. Or cricket? Where's that? I'm gonna say grasshopper. Could be worried the wizard doesn't shop locally. Needs a party hat. Busy boy. Works really hard. Didn't know anything had happened. Seems stressed about the parade. Doesn't have a hat. Poor Carlos. Oh, he's for sale. <laughs> The grasshopper is for sale. I hope it's a grasshopper, that's what I'm calling it. Oh my god. Victor's spooking me. Spooking me. I'm still freaking out about the little thing that I saw for like one second. Okay, who's this? Hello. Nice outfit. La! Ooh, la la la. Hello? Hello, frog. Hello, what's your name? I'm Mary. Nice to meet you. Did you like my song? Hmm, yep. I've been practicing all day and all night. Are you okay? I'm tired. 
Huh, maybe you should get some sleep. Maybe. You sing very loudly. Yep, I'm why everyone soundproofed their houses. That sounds expensive. Yeah, but that's not really my problem. I think I sound very good, even late at night. How late? I love to sing at 3am. Wow. That's when my energy is the highest. That doesn't sound very healthy. My health is my business. Oh yes, that's true. Sorry. <laughs> Maybe I should listen to some soft sounds before bed. Whisper, whisper. Welcome to my hair salon. Snip, snip. That will be 100 money. Just joking. Anyway, who are you? I'm the detective. Can you question me? Do you mind if I ask? Oh, yeah, sure. Oh boy, I love questions. Oh, I like Mary, she's cute. About the wizard. What do you know about the wizard that moved in? Ha ha ha. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I didn't actually hear you. <laughs> Such a stupid line of dialogue. <laughs> oh, Grace, you're the best. I was asking about the wizard. Oh, yeah, there's a wizard. She just moved in. Why? I'm a detective. Right, this is part of the questioning, right? Yeah. I didn't do any crimes or anything, and I have the right to remain silent. Yeah, but do you want to remain silent? <laughs> Literally never. So, like, I heard that Ralph was super weird about the new wizard moving in. Also, I heard that Mandy was in a bad mood the night the par parade was destroyed. And I heard that Noddy, like, attacked the wizard one time. And... That's all, actually. Does this make me a snitch? I think so. Rats. Oh boy, I love questions. <laughs> Just straight back to like, oh my god, questions. It's amazing. It's the best day ever. What were you doing when the parade was destroyed? Singing, probably. Oh, we're doing questioning. What was I doing? Not much, just singing outside. You were outside when the parade was destroyed? Did you see anything? Detective. Have you heard of extortion? Yes. <laughs> That's great news. Is it? Detective, I would like to extort you. I don't think that's legal. I am above the law. Oh. Why are you extorting me? I would like five money for a train ticket. I don't have any money. Well, you best get some soon. What do you need a train ticket for? I want to go to Froggywood and become a star. Oh, that sounds exciting. Sorry about the extortion thing, but I don't really have any other ways to get there. I figure if you get the money for me, I can finally go and live my dreams. La. What will you give me in exchange? Information. What kind of information? A phone number. Who am I calling? I can't tell you that. All I can say is that they were in the vicinity when the parade was destroyed. I don't think you'll be able to solve the case without this phone number. Hence the extortion. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. We all get extorted every now and then. Come back to me when you have my money. <laughs> okay, thanks Mary. I mean, I, I do like Mary. I did say I like Mary, but I wish she hadn't extorted me. <laughs> Motive. Perhaps the wizard is a better singer. Needs five money. Notes. Sings really loudly all the time. Everyone soundproofed their houses. Wants to be a big star. Is extorted me. I've never been extorted before. What a thrill. Frog Detective has an amazing way of looking at everything. 